I'm saying it's these little costs that had you dropping your Hartford correspondent. How much are you paying for syndicated features? You run Dear Abby and Ann Landers and Ask Vicky. How many different ways do the people in this community need to hear, honey, he ain't gonna change, dump his ass? <laughs> Charlie, I'd like to get that physical plan to her in before five. Uh, hang on, let me call Dan Gerson and see if they're ready for you. Well, if we're in a holding pattern, why don't you start getting into those circulation issues? Are you ready for us? Wow. The ability to be able to run a four-minute mile would come in pretty handy right about now, huh? Sorry? A four-minute mile? I don't follow. At Yale, uh, track and field, you ran a four-minute mile. Oh, right. It's yeah. fast. Four-minute mile, whoosh! Dan's gonna need another 10. Why don't I take you into Ron Stone's? We'll talk some advertising. Let's do it. If you're looking for Huntsberger, he went in there. Oh, thanks. What's the matter, Ace? Nothing. I've just won the Spaz of the Year Award. I believe it will be on the front page of the Gazette tomorrow. I'm sure it's not that bad. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know where anybody is. I can't walk in these shoes. I gotta run in my pantyhose. I ran into a file cabinet. Slow down. I didn't even know if I was supposed to go to lunch when everybody went to lunch, so I just stood in the break room for like 45 minutes, and then I ate an Altoid. It's the first day. It'll get better. Your father must think I'm an idiot. I'm sure he doesn't. I need some help. I need something to say to him other than, yes, the bleeding, stop, thanks. Hey, I think that's pretty good. Logan, please, give me something. Something I can use to connect with him. I don't know. You do know. This is important to me, Logan, please. Ah. <sighs> he likes jazz, but not when it gets too experimental, and he hates when they quote my favorite things. What? My favorite things from The Sound of Music. OK. Good, go on. Uh, he lets people go at 7, but he keeps going till 8.30 or 9, and he notices the people who stay. He hates double talk, but he's really good at it. And uh, he has high blood pressure, so he switches to decaf after 4. That's good. That's almost something. Don't worry, Ace. I'm sure you're doing fine. I just don't want your father to be disappointed in me. Rory, in order for my dad to be truly disappointed in you, your name would have to be Logan. I'm sure that's not true. Uh-huh. Thanks, Logan. Go get him, Ace. Beatrice? Yes, ma'am. Do you know what these are? Lilies. Fragrant lilies. Would you like to eat dinner with fragrant lilies in the room? Yes. Well, then you're insane. I don't know how you think my guests are supposed to enjoy their dinner with this floral reek wafting up their noses. Move them to the living room and bring the peonies in here. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Everything looks lovely. Does it? Yes, and so do you. <laughs> and what's on the dinner menu tonight? Roast beef. Oh, I hope Logan's not some kind of vegetarian. Well, his grandfather owned 10,000 head of cattle. I sincerely doubt it. You know, I've just been thinking. The Huntsburgers will all be transferring down to Martha's Vineyard soon. Mid-June, every year like clockwork. I'm sure Logan's there for some of that. They have six acres there. It's quite a spread. They've held their share of functions down there, too. Graduation parties, weddings. Maybe it's time for us, Emily. Time for what? Time to acquire our own acreage, a compound for the extended family. A place on Cape Cod. Our own Kennebunkport. Get it all ready for the next generation. The Cape's as good as the vineyard for a wedding. Well, some would say better. Sandier beaches, too. Children love sandy beaches. <laughs> Just love running and playing on them. Oh, damn. I forgot to fill the ice bucket. Go get it. I'll get the door. Hmm. Richard, picture his blonde hair and her blue eyes on a little baby. Incomparable. 